Okay, this is Fab March 2-1, paper 4-2, question 5, which is about communications. Guys, 2021 will be the last year where CIE have communication. After that, it's no longer in the syllabus. Whee! Okay, anyway, if you are watching this but you haven't tried the Fab March 2-1 paper and you are about to sit for May, June 2-1, please pause the video, go try the paper, come back again so that you get an accurate measurement of how well you are prepared for the paper and you know what to do to address your weaknesses. But now we're going to start by defining what is AM. AM here is not morning, but AM here is amplitude modulation. Okay, so this one, you could, you could visualize the graph, okay, and watch the video. I think we've recorded a pretty good one by Miss Ellie. She go and do radio scanner some more. Okay. So this is when the displacement of the carrier wave. Carrier wave is like the canvas where you use the information signal to adjust the canvas. So the displacement of the carrier wave is made to change, to vary in synchrony with the displacement of information signal. One mark. The other mark is when you say frequency of carrier wave remains constant. This is the second mark. B1. Actually, no. I think this is M1, A1. So if you just write frequency of carrier wave remains constant, you probably will not get marked. Okay? So it's more like I have this carrier, I have this carrier wave like this. And then I use an information signal like this. And then it becomes. So the information signal becomes the envelope. And then the carrier wave will fit and change uh, its, hang on, a bit cha-cha, will fit and change its uh, amplitude accordingly. So the amplitude here will be very big. And then after that here, the amplitude will be very small. Okay, so large displacement, large amplitude, small displacement, small amplitude. What are the advantages of AM transmission when compared to FM transmission? So AM transmission is the cheap one, the one you use for walkie-talkie. So the first one, because we can use for walkie-talkie, right, is cheaper, simpler circuits. So if let's say the zombie apocalypse happened, and if you happen to come from Malaysia, right now we have the movement control order where there's this place called Kuala Lumpur, which is where I am or where I work. And all the surrounding regions in Kuala Lumpur is in lockdown. So it's like zombie apocalypse, you know. So if let's say you want you, you are in the mode in you're in the mode of zombie apocalypse and you need to contact another another human being, you use AM. Because it's cheaper, you can build the circuit easier, and it has a longer range of transmission. The signal can travel far away. So I, when I was a student, I recall this because I watched the Will Smith show. What's that Will Smith show? Ah? He's the only one, then there are zombies around one. Forgotten already. Oh, I am legend. Okay, and then if you are young, but you watch Netflix, if you think about that, you know that one, is it Netflix? Uh? The Silent Place? The one where the monster can hear sound one, but the monster is blind one. A Quiet Place? <laughs> Same idea, they use AM radio. Okay, so AM radio have long range. If you watch all the post-apocalyptic one, they talk the walkie-talkie, all long range, cheaper, simpler circuit. Okay, next. Okay, just in case, <coughs> advantage of S of FM. Advantage. What's the advantage of FM? Better quality sound. That's why your radio channel that you use to listen to music. Okay? Is 
using F F F M lah. You don't want your favorite Taylor Swift song to sound very staticky, right? Full of static and noise. Okay. So this one, the second thing is, uh, it can carry more information. All right. These are all just facts lah. At this point in time, so if you want to know more, go do a degree in communication engineering or electronics engineering. All right, next. This is how the frequency of the amplitude of a transmitted radio wave <coughs> where you are doing amplitude modulation. So this is the standard bandwidth diagram. Okay, so recall that the part where you get this maximum peak, this is your carrier wave frequency. Okay, so this is FC. What you have here is your band. So this is your sideband. When you reach this sideband here, this one is FC plus F S. So F C here is a carrier wave frequency. C for carrier. F S here is information signal or signal frequency. Okay. So here will be F C minus F S. These are what we call side bands, like wings, right? And here to here is what we call a bandwidth. The bigger the bandwidth, the more information can carry, the better the signal is, the more expensive the circuit. All right, for this transmission, determine the wavelength of the carrier wave. So we can use our beautiful V equal F lambda all the time, anytime, because radio wave is electromagnetic wave. 3 times 10 to the power of 8. We have the frequency of the carrier wave, 1500. Don't forget there's a kilo hiding here saying, Chuck, forget me at your own risk. Okay, low power 3, lambda. All right. And if you press your calculator, your wavelength, because I didn't press my calculator for this one, for some reason, 1500, power of 3. I'll get 200 meter. Okay, okay. This looks legit because wavelength for radio wave is very long. Okay. Next, uh, maximum frequency of transmitted audio signal. So if you want to find the maximum frequency of your signal, what is your frequency signal? If FC plus FS is 1510 and your carrier wave frequency is 1500 plus FS. So can I say your signal frequency is 10 kilohertz? Okay. So we are talking about the signal FS. 10 kilohertz. Okay. One mark, one mark. Uh, it's very basic. Like I see this, I give one mark. I see this, I give one mark. This mark, this A1 may be tied to this showing this working. So if you don't show this working, they could remove the mark from you because they don't know how you got 200. So make sure you show important steps, okay? This one, no important step, lah. but if you want, you could write something like this. No. Okay, so that you know that this is the sideband and this is FC plus FS. Carrier is already 1005. So the signal is just 1005 plus 10. Signal is 10. Okay, next. Another audio signal. Hmm, second signal. With same maximum frequency, okay, okay, so it's still 10 kilohertz, it's transmitted using a different carrier wave frequency wall. Lowest frequency of this modulated wave is equal to the highest frequency of the modulated wave in B. Determine the frequency of this carrier wave. Okay, okay, we need to draw some drawing. So I am going to paste the graph here. So we don't have to scroll up, scroll down, and then after a while get some motion sickness. Okay, so this is my graph. All right, it's the original one. Ah. Then it says now we got a second signal. We are using a different carrier wave frequency. So we no longer use 1005, or we use something else. But the important information here is lowest frequency of this wave is equal to the highest frequency of this wave. Okay, what's the highest frequency here? Now this becomes the lowest frequency. So what I will do is I will sneakily 
visualize this in my brain. Give me a sec to paste it in and hope that it doesn't lag. Okay, so I visualize this thing in my brain. So this is the original shape, right? It looks like this. And the position of this weird looking graph depends on the carrier wave. Okay, lah, this is the best I can. But now we are going to move it da, 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 to this position such that the lowest frequency is equal to 1510. Since I can't place it properly, I will draw. So this means now this entire shape is going to look like this, like that, and then like this. Good news. Same signal frequency. So from here to here is Fs. But here to here, also Fs. So you tell me la. 1, 5, 0, 0 plus 10. Then you plus 10. So this will be 1, 5, 2, 0 kilohertz. So it's actually 1, 5, 1, 0 because this is the highest frequency. 1, 5, 1, 0 plus the maximum frequency, okay, which is the information signal, which is 10. So 1520 kilohertz. Because this is your new your new wave, uh, your something like this. Okay, if you want to know what is the new maximum frequency, this will be 1530. So the reason why it has shifted is because, not because we changed the carrier, no, not because we changed the information signal, we changed carrier wave. So change carrier wave, but information signal still the same. Alright, so this is why it's happening here. So read the question carefully. They may give you some weird thing. Like, just follow the question. It says that lowest frequency of this purple one is equal to the highest frequency. So this is the point that we are talking about is this point. Lowest for purple, highest for the original one. You sketch it out if you need to. You can even draw it here. No matter, you can draw one. It doesn't matter. So we draw it on the original graph and then after that you just do some mathematics oh? because the fs remain the same. I foresee that they may change the signal frequency. If they change the signal frequency, half a uh, double uh, three times uh, you don't scat, you just do mathematics. Alright, if you understand the idea of modulation or how this graph works, basically we have carrier wave and the length of the sideband depends on the information signal. Alright, so that's it for amplitude modulation. Don't forget to try some questions regarding frequency modulation as well in case it comes out in communication. But there are also other things in communication like attenuation, communication channel and the analog to digital conversion, the binary number ones, drawing the staircase graph one. Make sure that one also you are okay. Right, we are done with this question.